Hi, my name is Kedi Mwangi. I've been farming pineapples for more than 10 years and this is my story. Before I started this pineapple farming, um, after I finished my education, I was a teacher, high school teacher, teaching agriculture and biology just near neighboring school in my home. Then, after like it was two years, I decided to start a farm here back at my home. By, by, by then, my parents had passed away. So as I was going in school early in the morning, back in high school, I, I had, we had a farm starting a pineapple, a small piece. But when I was teaching uh, agriculture, I asked myself, what can I do to, to make, just make use of the farm uh, that, that was being used by my father? So I decided to start pineapples. That was back in, in back 2010. And then I had challenges because I had no money time i was a teacher but i don't have time workers it was also another challenge the reason why i choose pineapples it does not have much work than tea coffee and any other crop that is being grown here because when you plant it is only planting you have manure and then you have the farm so after planting it is just after two weeks you come and then you you do weeding and there's no you don't apply game codes in the farm. So when we st I started, I got a study. I look at uh, which can I plant in the farm that would not take much of my time because I'm busy, I'm teaching. In the evening, maybe I have uh, evening classes. So I choose pineapple because that does not have much work. I started uh, with one acre and seeds were 1,200. Right now where we are, I had uh, like 20 acres pineapples, food pineapples, and like 200,000 uh, seeds which are already in the farm. So once I started with one acre, I had customers. And the first customers were my colleagues, teacher colleagues, and then for some of the parents to my students. So they were coming to, to see what, what this teacher normally do. And then at the school I was telling them, encouraging them, this is what I'm doing in the farm, this is what I'm doing in the farm. So they used to come and then they started spreading uh, so and so is, uh, is farming uh, pineapple, they are very sweet, like that. And then finally after one an year, I bought a car. So I used to travel from here to Nairobi to the customers. And you see, when you have a customers, regular customers, you have to keep on adding, depending on the demand. And because it was high, you have to add the supply. When I wanted to, to scale up, I had 1,200 seeds. That is how you do propagation, seed propagation. And with pineapples, one seed can produce four, pine, four seeds. That's when you do pro seed propagation. So I started with seed propagation. So with 1,200, I was able to get 4,000 seeds. And that's how I started. Then the farm was there because my father had six acres. So with 4,000, I was able to fill the gap in the farm. So then the another thing, I had workers in my area because there were so many young, and they were jobless, so we giving them a job from morning to say to 1 p.m. and giving them 400. It was a, a good job. So that's how I started. And uh, right now, we are still together with them. They are also my workers. Some of them have already started their farm already, although it is small scale, but it is great. If you want to, do, to get into this uh, job, because it is a job, it is giving you money. So if you want to get into this job, first of all you have to have rent because you can't farm with no 
tanned. And around with pineapples to start, you can talk of an acre. Secondly, you have to have seeds, certified seeds. Because some of these seeds right now, they have, we have a challenge of pests and diseases which are uh, attacking the seeds. And then you have bought the seeds, you have planted, but all of them chaos. So you have to have seeds, that is second. Thirdly, you have to use manure because you want a big size. Uh, finally, you have to be serious with what you are doing. Because when you plant pineapples, and then you go to Nairobi or wherever you stay, and then you stay for like uh, five months, you have never visited your farm. But you with pineapples, they you are visiting the farm, it is more you can do so that you can save your money. When we come to pineapple, the preferred sort of pH, potential hydrogen, is about 5.5 to 6.0. Attitude is about 800 to 1200. Uh, that, that is the preferred attitude that grow, uh, pineapple grow or do it. Uh, and finally, when you find somewhere growing tea, like here in our area, we have bordering tea, meru, uh, we can also have pineapples there in meru. So everywhere you have tea, you can have pineapples too. So once you have started your farming, you start with one acre, which would be profitable. You start with 1,200 seeds. Labor, weeding, whichever. A total cost would cost 500,000. Because you, you, you have to plant, you have manure, you have someone uh, in, in the farm, because we have said you have to have Degida visiting the farm. So if you not you, you have to have your worker, Degida visiting your farm. <coughs> Weeding, it is uh, around, after every three months, you have to weed your farm. So that cost would cost uh, 500,000 per season. After planting, you have to harvest your fruit after, eight, after one year, eight months. After then, you harvest your fruit after every two weeks, after every two weeks until eight years are over. That's when your fruit would be no more producing any fruit. Uh, and this venture, it is, you can see it is good because you are in the business throughout the year. For this one acre, it can give you 14,000 pieces per year. And the farm gate prices, it costs 50. So you can do the months about the profit, and you can see it is a profitable job which you can venture. When we come to pineapples, we have various types of pineapples. Like in our farm, we have two types of pineapples. We have this one, MD2, and we have another one, this one, which is called a, a smooth cayenne. As you can see, they are both pineapples, but they are different in terms of taste and in terms of juice. Uh, this one is good for juices, and this one is good for export. So when you are planting pineapples, you should know they want to be to plant depending with your customers, depending with your supply. When you come to challenges, we have so many challenges in the farm. Mostly we have pests and diseases. When you talk of pests, we can talk of animals, wild animals. Mostly we have porcupine that normally attack the pineapple, whether ripe or unripe, or even an, a young one. When you talk of diseases, we have just one disease that is disturbing a lot of farmers, uh, which is black leaf spot. Uh, normally it generates itself uh, in the farm, the plant just dies, you just see the leaf turns yellow and then black. So that disease, normally if you can see at this plant, it is dying, generally from f leaves up to the stem. Uh, so what, what you normally do in the farm, when you get these diseases, you just take the whole plant and you throw it away to stop uh, spreading it in the farm. The reason why we throw it away is all because we don't use chemicals in our farm. We normally grow our plants through organic farming. So that is the main reason why we don't use chemicals so that we can have quality pineapples. Given that we have been able to come from one acre to 20 acres, which we have been able to manage, neighboring farmers have been able to come also and join us for more training, 
for more seeds and for more education about farming these pineapples. And we also set seeds to them so that they can start and we all, we all grow the pineapples together so that they can have profit in their farm. Build training, we are looking forward for value addition for our fruits, where we can have dried fruits and then we can have uh, fresh juices, pineapple juices. For us to achieve this, we are, we are looking for like-minded entrepreneurs so that they can help us in this business uh, to make us grow together. That was my story as a pineapple farmer, hoping that you have been motivated, but I'm also curious to know what you are doing in your farm. What is your story? <laughs>